How's it going folks? Welcome back to the channel. This is just a short video about the European Super League and why I think as a Celtic fan we should take this as a worrying sign. So firstly I want to give a shout out to my boy Jose Mourinho. Yesterday should have been about you. It should have been about you but there were just bigger things in the world happening. We were all distracted by the fact that football as we know it was falling apart. That was of course the news that the Super League is becoming a real thing and that is essentially the biggest clubs in Europe. Real Madrid, Man United, Liverpool, the self pro claimed super clubs of Europe are joining their own little league of super clubs and they're not going to let anybody in except for themselves. Oh, and five lucky teams that get to be the best of the rest for the competition. It's a rich person's league for rich clubs and it's not for the fans. It's not it's not for match going fans. I think that's what we need to understand here. This is purposely built for the international viewer. It's purposely built for TV revenue for rich Middle Eastern uh, football goers. And listen, I have nothing against the international fan. I don't have any issue with people coming over to the clubs and supporting the clubs because essentially that's what I do. I'm Irish, so what am I doing supporting an English or a, a Scottish club? So I, I, I'm in an awkward enough position there, so I want to put that out there. I don't have any issue with fans from, from international countries coming over and supporting these clubs. What I do have an issue with is the clubs money grabbing and essentially just forming their own league where there's no competition really to get in. All you have, The criteria is that you have to be super rich and then there's no relegation. It's a bunch of rich people who don't understand the culture of football making this decision and it's absolutely disgusting what they're doing to their fans. But first and foremost, this should be a warning for Celtic fans because in the context of Scotland, let's get this right, Celtic and Rangers are the super clubs. And there have been power struggles between Celtic and Rangers and the Scottish FA and the SPFL in terms of the power that they have, the money that they bring in. And it's one of the issues with these bigger clubs is that the big, the bigger the fan base, the more power they have and the more money they bring in, therefore the more leverage they have in these meetings. So Celtic and Rangers are the super clubs of Scotland. But that's not why I'm worried about this. What I'm worried about is the basically shunning of the what the fan wanted so no fans want the European Super League to happen I don't think no matter what your opinions are of Man United Liverpool Chelsea fans whatever your opinion of them are none of the fans really want that the match going fans the season ticket holders none of them want this to happen but it did and the clubs are flying in the face of what the fans want and it, it, it's essentially they are making the club theirs not the fans. And that's why I think it's a warning for Celtic because if you look at our season and we'll trace it back to the very beginning when COVID happened with the season ticket situation where instead of giving a refund for the season tickets, they asked you to buy a season ticket for a stream, essentially. And a lot of Celtic fans did that. And then there's also the new kits. Celtic fans buy those. And then there was the ball and goalie stuff, no communication. The Lennon stuff, no communication. Fans protesting and Peter Lawwell slams them as opposed to understanding them, discussing with them, telling them what's happening within the club. He slams the fans. And we're getting to the point again where Dominic Mackay is coming in. We don't know what his role is. We don't know if the director of football thing is happening anymore. Is there a manager coming in anytime soon? Absolutely no communication from the club again. Even when there were troubles with the streaming service that they sold as season tickets, it was like it was almost as if it was a side note to their problems, that they didn't really care whether or not the fans were able to get that stream or not. So the disconnect between the Celtic board and the Celtic hierarchy and the fans is becoming wider and wider. And this always happens with the bigger clubs. And that's why I think Celtic should be worried or Celtic fans should be worried about this because we saw with Man United when the Glazers took over, a, a, a small percentage of the season ticket holders went and formed their own club as a result. And Man United ended up growing as a club. So internationally, these brands are really strong and that makes it really tough to actually damage what they're doing not because you don't want to damage the club but it's it's hard to grab your power back from these charlatans essentially these businessmen and these businessmen are running the clubs like businesses and that's fair enough that's their job but football clubs are more than that 
football clubs are more than just a business. They mean something to people. And they're a tradition to people. And they're a family day out to people. That's what these football matches mean. And that's why it's such a hard feeling that the football is being taken away from the fan. And that's why I think we should be worried as Celtic fans. We need to make sure that we do not end up in the same situation down the line as Manchester United, Liverpool, Chelsea, Man City, Real Madrid, Barcelona. These are big clubs who are making big big decisions that have affected all of the clubs around the world. But there is a potential there that Celtic and Rangers could do something similar. And we have to think about the impact on the clubs in Scotland as well and what this affects the fans. So I don't think there's any Celtic fan that would want us to be part of the best of the rest, the best five, else the other teams that are being allowed in to play with the 20 best teams in Europe. I don't think there's any fans that truly want that to happen. And if that does get become a reality, then we need to fight against it. And we need to help out the smaller clubs in Scotland as well because it's getting to the point where Celtic and Rangers are getting so bloated again. They're going to hold all the power and they're going to want to do something about it. So I do think, as a Celtic fan, we should all be worried about the Super League because down the line, this could happen to us. So let me know your thoughts on all of that. Let me know your thoughts on the European Super League. Drop me a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll chat to you later.